Hey guys, I have a new setup. I'm going to be doing the energy check-in for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Energies for this week of the 12th of January. So, let's get to it. Oh, if you're new, <laughs> you know we have to do the housekeeping. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe. And if you're returning, I love you guys. <laughs> If you want to get on a reading, you guys, uh, all that info is down below. And I have a limited offer. I don't do readings on a consistent basis. It's just too draining for me. So, um, yeah, if you want a one-hour Zoom face-to-face, -face, um, yeah, get me up. Okay, let's get started. Let's take a look at Divine Masculine Energies. Now, this is for any label. This is a life reading. Um, this is to take a look at where the energies are based on the person that you are thinking of. So make sure that you close your eyes, concentrate and focus. Phew. And we're going to take a look here. This is Divine Masculine Energies. No matter the label, soul connections. Okay, let's take a look. Let's look at the bottom of the deck right now. We have hope. It is in reverse, but I'm not going to take it. We have hope. There is a hope that's happening right now. So it's going on in the mind space. Someone's looking at you, heart, okay, and outcome for divine masculine. So there we got yourself a creeper, all right? If you've been wondering if someone has been checking you out, definitely has been. That is the spy we have in the feeling space, learning some very deep spiritual lessons right now. We have the cathedral um, abundance here in the action, wanting to action abundance and going on an inner journey is the outcome. So what I'm getting here is the person that you are asking about is definitely checking you out, trying to see where you're at. I feel this person is looking at your followers, your likes, your <laughs> whatever the case may be, also can be vice versa, so take it as it resonates. Um, yeah, and this is also about commitment and learning lessons. I feel that Spirit wants me to pull something in regards to the lessons here. Let's get, um, let's go deeper into the emotional journey, shall we? Because I'm feeling that there is some, okay. Yeah, this one. Sorry, guys. Just looking at my little box over here. Let's take a look at the emotional journey and see what chakras are being activated in masculine energy, okay? So this is whoever you're thinking about. I'm not going to get into labels. I'm going to stop labeling things as well, too. We're just going to get into it. We have grief that came out. So heart chakra stuff, a lot of grief, a lot of sadness. Uh, this person you may be in separation from. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on with the mind space. Mind space for masculine. Thank you. Heart, well, actions. Okay. We've got quite a bit. We've got two. Discovery growth. Okay, that's how they came out. All right. Someone looking at you, trying to discover. Self-discovery, though. This is about a self-discovery that's happening. Um, just fixing my earpiece. Uh, yeah, so this is definitely about a self-discovery aspect that's happening within themselves in their mind. They're looking at you. They're watching you. They're wanting to see what is happening in this connection at, right now. And so they're definitely doing a little spying. We also have wanting um, traditions and um, this person could be traditional, okay? Uh, commitment, this person may have been a commitment foe, may be looking at how to commit fully or why they haven't had, it, why they've had issues with, with commitment because I'm getting the growth here as well. So there is an array of energies and chakras that are happening. This person is trying to ground energy. So they're trying to, uh, I feel plan maybe to come forward. There's also in regards to what you're really up to. Um, they want to know what is happening in your life. We also have here wanting abundance and wanting their soul journey here. We have that as their action. So they're being motivated by mission, by God, by their spiritual path. Okay, so we also have an inner journey here where they feel that they have been tricked. Okay, this is the outcome. This person may have been following somebody else or may have been taken off their path or may have gone on a little bit of a detour. Sometimes we need those detours if we don't have our own inner trust, um, guidance systems intact, especially if your person is highly sensitive. Uh, 
yeah, and I teach that. I help uh, people get a very clear channel. Um, this person was manipulated out of their inner knowing, okay? We also have that they want forgiveness as well, okay? So we have the forgiveness card there as well. So, yeah, this person feels a bit of a mess, you guys. A bit of a mess. Um, I feel if you have recently completely uh, surrendered something, this person has definitely felt it. For some of you that if you've started dating somebody, I feel like this person feels it. I feel that this person is having a massive wake-up call, okay? Let's take a look at the energies on the bottom. We have Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? So someone has blocked somebody. Uh, that's what I was feeling. There was no contact that was happening here. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the spy. Why is this person spying and the discovery? What is happening? Discovery. Thank you. Landed right on top too, eh? So we have, yeah, not taking a leap of faith because they're currently getting off um, one path and starting another path. We have page of wands. <sighs> There's been some heated discussions around this, all right, either with you or... Uh, I feel, I don't feel it's you, but I feel the person who is uh, spying on you uh, has definitely had some heated discussions, is really looking at the spiritual path here, has not taken, I don't feel this is something that's really taken off. Um, I don't feel that this is something that ever really got a full start, because we have the fool in reverse. Um, I feel they're recognizing how sacred the spiritual path is. They're recognizing, yeah, they're in massive conflict right now, okay? So they're going through changes. They're discovering, why are they spying, Spirit? Why are they spying? King of Wands in reverse. They're not actioning. They're just looking. Don't you hate that? It's like, why are you looking? Why are they not actioning? Why are they, what information are they getting from spying? They're watching the Divine Feminine where they have completely stuffed that truth down. So they're not communicating. They're just watching it. Everything that you're doing. <laughs> so that's... um. That's nice. So they're in massive conflict. Why are they in conflict? Why is masculine energy in conflict? Why do you drop it on the ground? Why do you drop it on the ground? They're walking away from this conflict. So I feel like whatever you have been um, dealing with in regards to this person, um, they're walking away from anything that puts them in their head, that puts them in this conflict, but they're suppressing and they're not actioning. So they're really in their head. This person is really in their head. They're trying to bring patience and balance, but this person, I mean, look at them. Do you see that? Their head is like blowing up. So this person is trying to get out of their head. Um, they're trying to bring in more balance. So let's see where they're growing. They're growing in commitments. They're growing in learning their spiritual lesson through their dramatic, the drama and trauma, drama, trauma in their hearts, right? So this is somebody going through a very hard time, um, really gaining a lot of courage, um, which is good. That's the sacred heart that's opening up too. So they're having a lot of growth. What is this drama, trauma that's happening in spirit? They haven't moved from... Yeah, they haven't actually, they haven't actually, the Knight of Wands in reverse, they haven't actually moved towards anything. To be honest, I feel this person is just either newly out of something or they don't know what to do with themselves. Uh, this person is stuck between a hard place and a hard ball, like a hard place and a hard ball, is that the right saying? They're really, uh, they don't know what to do. Do I go back to my old ways? can't do that I feel that they're in a discovery mode or do I <sighs> yeah they're integrating that's what I hear spirit saying they're integrating they're integrating they're integrating yeah they've just ended a foundation or, or a marriage or something so okay let's see what's going on with uh the spiritual journey here the abundance <clears throat> They definitely want their abundance. Yeah, they're depressed. The sun in reverse. So they're depressed because they don't know how to move on their spiritual path. They want abundance. They want their path. They don't know what it is. They feel like a complete failure. The six of wands in reverse. I feel this person may have made a wrong choice and was persuaded. And this person, um, yeah, they're trying to get over their fears, the moon in reverse. This person, oh my God, this is what happens with sensitive people. 
they get manipulated yeah. by uh, people who claim to know the truth, you know, but only you know the truth and only you know what your calling is and the, the visions that you get and where you're being guided. And if you're not trusting that and you're allowing somebody to logically infiltrate you, then yeah, you're going to have issues. Um, you're going to miss out on things. Um, if it's really meant for you, oh, it's meant for you, but we are co-creators and sometimes paths completely change and the door is completely shut, you know? And so that really depends on where you're at in your journey. So let's take a look at this person was tricked, I feel. That's why they've gone on their inner journey. They really want forgiveness. Yeah, we have the King of Cups with the Knight. Yeah, they want to return. Five of Pentacles with the uh, with the Knight of Pentacles slowly moving um, towards you, <laughs> wanting to return. Yeah, this person is not in a good space. Let's get some um, other emotional cards. I want to get the wounded. The wounded warriors. What emotions is this uh, masculine energy? Let's get it. When it comes to the feminine energy. What is going on? Cut it. They want me to take a look at the bottom. What does that say? I can't even read that. Perpetrator. Perpetrator. So perpetrator energy is stalking, <laughs> which is what we're seeing with the spike. Um, trying to influence the energy. I feel this person is somewhat psychic as well. And so your person that you're inquiring it's like they're trying to like penetrate the empress energy and I, they're not getting any truth the ace of uh, swords is an earth they're not getting anything they're they're not feeling anything let's see what other emotional where's this masculine energy in their emotions dark force entities so yeah this person is dealing with dark energy so if they're dealing with somebody they've been tricked they're being manipulated uh i think they're starting to come into this conclusion we also have a raven not that ravens are evil i actually love ravens but this is like somebody that's you know pecking at their brain like trying to get them to conform <laughs> let's take a look at divine feminine energies guys i'm sorry i shouldn't laugh i shouldn't laugh but I find a lot of these things very fascinating, to be honest, like, since, like, I'm in a complete, like, mission, kind of, like, doing my thing and, um, staying in my own lane and not giving a shit about, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that so loud, not giving a shit, <laughs> um, it's funny, it's not funny, but it's funny to see, like, even in my own situation, I'm like, don't like your situation so much now do you oh no you don't i can feel it but it is what it is let's take a look at divine feminine energies what is going on with divine feminine and then we'll do uh karmic situations right? what is going on with divine feminine energies Spirit? thank you what is going on with divine feminine energies what is happening i feel a lot of feminines um and these are just with the people that i'm working are really close at uh really um deep surrendering space. This is what I've been working with, with a lot of divine feminines really at a place of completely, um, yeah, a full place of surrendering is what I'm seeing. They're either just starting to get to that doorway, that gateway, or they're really at a place of like, yeah, I'm done. You know, like I'm done. <laughs> so let's take a look. What is going on with divine feminine energies towards masculine energy spirit? Thank you bottom of the deck ready to take a chance look at this and i feel this is taking a chance in your own life i feel divine feminines are having that look at this a rebirth okay we're gonna take these ones they're ready to stand up and defend themselves okay so even though feminine energy you may be like yeah my love for you is deeper than the ocean but i am choosing me completely okay we have ready to take a chance divine feminine 
on my way. This feminine, this is what I was feeling. The feminine energies I've been seeing lately are really standing in their calling, standing in their truth, moving forward, um, burning that path, you know? And um, yeah, I can honestly say that that is um, definitely what I've been seeing in the collective for sure this week. We also have rebirth, reunion, uh, having union, and this is not necessarily with your masculine either. I feel a lot of feminines are moving either, and it could be, I'm not saying that it's not, with whoever you're thinking of, there is union energies that are happening right now. Um, so there are people that are coming into union. It may be with the person you're thinking of, or it may be with something, uh, somebody else, or it might be a union within yourself. Okay, so it, it, there's so many people that watch these, so it depends on who. But I feel like if you are wanting a rebirth with your masculine, this is something that's rebirthing that's that's coming with yourself. You're ready to defend yourself, divine feminine, because you're following your heart here. Okay? You're also, my love is greater for you than the ocean. It's There's a drastic change is happening in my life right now. So divine feminines are going through a massive change, but they're also ready to take a leap of faith within themselves and rebirth. And I really feel some inner union that's happening with divine feminines. Okay? Um... They're really moving very fast through their path. And this is why the masculine is spying on the feminine. So let's take a look here. What is going on with feminine energies, please? Ready to take a... Sorry to hear my kids. They're supposed to be in school, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we have isolation, heart space, action... Okay. Feminine energy is ready to take a chance on my way. Isolation. This this feminine is completely isolated. She has pulled her energy back. She's in uh, expressing her truth. Okay, that's throat chakra energy right there. She's being true to herself. She's being authentic to herself. Um, rebirthing herself for union, but she has insecurities here. So this is what I was saying. This is why I was feeling this more of an inner union that's happening, and this insecurity is the root chakra it's also like leaving things behind of what you thought maybe that you know sorry fixing my earpiece that um yeah it's the insecurity with the temple with the dark stuff that's happening so spirit is like this is a rebirth in the root chakra this is monetary this is stability this is your mission this is friendships relationships all of this stuff is rebirthing for divine feminine because she's finding an inner union within herself that's really what i'm seeing and so anything that's left any kind of insecurity she's working through to move continuously take that leap of faith move forward and heal herself she's impartial right now she's defending herself and following her heart but she's trying to balance these energies as moving through that doorway and this is what um i was saying you guys oh my gosh i feel like i need to like stand up to do these readings <laughs> Um, I need a higher chair. I need to be like up here. Um, there's something about an impartiality that she's like, do I take this? Do I want to take this? She's really trying to find her balance here. Um, and she's trying to grow out of like, yes, I love my masculine deeply, but I'm changing things up. Just, you can love somebody to the depths of your soul and walk away from them. It is a possibility. Um, it depends on... I just did a channel teaching about this. Um, the ability to put your consciousness back to allow God to express the feminine energy, the mother energy to express, and the masculine energy to express. And when we are able to shrink that, you know, in our consciousness to allow those expressions, um, that is when divine masculine and divine feminine can be expressed through any vessel in order to move into a sacred union it doesn't have to be necessarily with this whole new agey twin flame thing it doesn't it really doesn't um yeah i'm gonna pull a little bit more for divine feminine because i feel with this insecurity card we need a little bit more information but what i'm getting is like yes twin flame if you want to call it twin flame or anything like that they are a rarity, so this is why I'm not going to label things. Um, soul connections, it's like no matter what is happening, your vessel, your consciousness can come into a place of union within yourself so that masculine energy can fully be expressed through you or feminine energy. And that is when 
um, this rebirth will happen. Let's see what's happening with this insecurity for feminine. Yeah, someone ran away here and making healthy choices for self. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened there. It went off. Oh, technology. So, yeah, I feel like it's like learning how to make those really healthy choices for self, okay? And this impartiality is learning how to defend self. Yeah, a passionate, the passionate heart for yourself, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely feeling that. Let's take a look at karmic energies, and that will be the reading, you guys. Let's see what is going on with karma. And we're going to do the karma for masculine and for feminine. Let's see. Yeah, that's the one that I want right there. Let's take a look. Let's see what karma is happening for masculine. I want this one too. And I need a sip of water. Get a sip of water. <laughs> I'm like hoping these my I have my like workout your things in here and I'm like oh can I use this to record I seriously think it's work it gonna work so all right let's take a look what is the karma and ener karmic energies towards divine masculine and the karmic energies towards divine feminine let's take a look here so you guys can know what you're dealing with okay let's see the car and that could be any kind of karma karma patterns that we are healing okay it can be a person can be an addiction can be something that keeps us in in the dark what is going on for karma for masculine energy, please? Hmm. Friendship. Okay. Might be with a person that they're having friendship. Karmic energies for masculine. Blame. They're being blamed for something. Okay, masculine energy. And I was going to ask for two more. Loneliness and pride. So this masculine energy, um, I feel there's a lot of loneliness that's happening. There's a lot of blame that's happening. Um, there's a lot of ego that's happening in the blame. Um, they may have, if it's with a person, they have, yeah, this is what spirit is bringing me. If it's an addiction, they've leveled the addiction somewhat down. Uh, it's not fully gone. And if it's with a person, they're not in a romantic partnership, but they're still in connection. So, um, Again, it's it's a dwindling of what's happening. There's still a lot of blame that's happening here. It could be masculine energy, so blaming feminine energy, it could be blaming karmic energies, but this is the karmic towards masculine, so there's still a lot of blame and it's still a lot of ego that's happening. And because of that ego, this is part why this person is still, you know, um, spying. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on with karmic energies towards feminine. And four came right out like that. Love when that happens, guys. Let's see. Imagination. This is third eye activation. Okay, guys. So this is like opening a new site, new things opening up for you, being creative in the in that creative force energy. It's like, how do I want to see my life? How do I want to create in my life? Right? And <laughs> spirit is saying these feminines are really stepping up their game, okay? Adversity, not allowing that to happen in your heart chakra anymore. Saying, yeah, if you don't like me you later it's like feminists don't need to be like proving anything to anybody it's like i kind of come to a place guys it's like i don't give a rat's ass anymore you could think i'm crazy i can read your energy so <laughs> self-esteem divine that's exactly what i was saying you don't care anymore you're working on your self-esteem you're like i am a divine feminine i'm powerful and i <laughs> I just am like the earth, so uh, I don't need to be thought of in any certain way. Um, is this still working? I'm sorry, guys. Oh, no. I don't know why this isn't working for me. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. You know me and technology. This stuff always happens to me. Um, love. Divine feminines are in love. 
and that they are experiencing either the um, connection of love within themselves, so it's manifesting, or it's just love for themselves and their family and their mission and whatever else is happening in that. Um, yeah. So, huh, let's take a look at karmic energies. Let's use these island tarot again. I hope my sound is okay, guys, with this because... I am trying it with my new, with my Bosque earpiece, but I don't know. My, I, I things always change with me in technology. Okay, let's see. What is going on with karmic energies towards masculine? And of course, we drop it on the ground. We've only got two. Give me a second. Um. Yeah, look at this new uh new cycle oh no what's this say oh many options decision unconditional stringing along one night stand so this is why it might be just friendship right it's like we can be friends with benefits and cupid's arrow this karmic energy is still you know have faith love is coming um surprise invitation meeting okay this is uh still be hitting by cupid's there so this is what i'm feeling like it hasn't completely dwindled okay it's like a oh we don't have to be together but we can still be friends with benefits kind of thing it's like yeah let's just let's just play and um yeah it's it's reiterating separation right so yeah it's almost like <laughs> it's like when you don't want to level up you have to give up on like you know old coping mechanisms and old dark patterns and it's kind of like we're human, right? We're like, I don't want to give up. I don't want to give that up. Why can't I have this? Why can't I take this to where I'm going? And God's like, uh, no. <laughs> That's just not a thing. So let's see what karmic energies are towards divine feminine. Talking, which is interested in conversing more hoovering email so this might be somebody that's spying on you karmic energies it could be the person that you're asking about it could be um, other karmic energies that you're dealing with wanting to reach out to you and about unconditional love so this could also be divine feminine is what i'm seeing is like you know i'm considering for some of them divine feminine to contacting this individual as well but divine feminines are mostly sitting in this unconditional place of love, which is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see what's going on with karmic energies. Let's divine masculine and use this little tiny deck. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see. What's going on with karmic energies towards divine masculine? All right, so let's see. What is going on with karmic energies towards divine masculine? Karmic energies towards divine masculine. Thank you. All right. So they want a new beginning here. This is a wish, and this is what I'm seeing. Like, this is why it hasn't completely dwindled. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. We also have the High Priestess in reverse with the Five of Swords in reverse, trying to end that conflict. The karmic energies are really, and, and drug addiction will do this too. It's like, oh, oh, you've been clean for like a good, you know, month. <laughs> you can just have a little bit. You can just play with it a little bit. You know, that's what karmic energies do. <laughs> Tempt you, tempt you, tempt you. And so this karmic energy is tempting. Um, and in that temptation, it's like, yeah, can I come back? Let's end our conflict. Eight of one. So it's a temptation to move forward. Can we, you know, yeah. And, and so this is the loop. It hasn't quite broken yet, whatever this masculine is dealing with, five of cups, because it's still dark energy of regret. Like, Sorry, if you want to move into new vibration, you have to let go of everything that you kind of known before. So it just is what it is. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Things are being offered by the karmic energy. So they're making it very lovely for uh, masculine energy. So let's see, how is masculine actually responding to that spirit? I'm sorry if the sound is off, guys. Like, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. So if it's like in and out, like between my... Look at this. It's not like... I don't know why it keeps going off. Was that a hundred percent? 
And so if it keeps going in and out, like back and forth, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll do my best to like fix it next time. I don't know why it's not working. Anyways, let's see. Um, what is going on in regards to uh, masculine energy towards karmic? Yeah, they've had an awakening and they're healing. They're taking time to heal. So, you know, for some, they aren't taking these offers. For some, they are taking these offers. For some, they're still playing in it because there's still a friendship. Like, why is the why is the friendship here, spirit? Why is the friendship here? And it's not like you can't be friends with your karmic, but I mean, yeah, friendship with the karmic energy, Queen of Swords. Um, but if say you and your divine complement are, you know, supposed to be, um, when you're, if you're meant to, uh, come back, whatever it's, I mean, that karmic, the karmic energy can't be around. You can't have divinity and karma. You can't have dark present quite with, you can have like a fine line that you can move between the two and transmute what wants to be transmuted. But when you're in pure divinity, it's a constant transmutation of darkness because the only thing that exists is pure love. So, um, so there can be a coexisting at a certain frequency when you're in a place of healing. But other than that, um, no. So this masculine is trying to, let's see what this friendship with the karmic, like, I can't even, like, are these people that unconscious? I'm sorry judge it but I just I can't with these readings sometimes it's like yeah the lovers <laughs> the lovers in reverse so um yeah it's over so it's like can we still be friends <laughs> let's see what's going on with feminine energy um mask uh karmic karmic energies to, towards the feminine yeah a lot of injustice, uh, moving with this, you know, moving on to calmer waters, we have the justice in reverse. So there's been a lot of injustice here that the karmic energies feel because this masculine king of cups in reverse is, was manipulated probably by the feminine energy. Oh, they just manipulated you. Whatever. And, uh, there's a lot of injustice that's happening here. Um, blaming feminine energy because of this injustice, but seeing it clearly and knowing that they have to move on into calmer waters. Um, that's also because feminine energy is not partaking and also in a place of love and self-esteem and loving herself. So, yeah. All right, you guys, I do have a special that is running right now until January 31st. If you want a one hour session with me, it is just a reading, it's not coaching. Um, so coaching is different. Coaching is, uh, I channel actual teachings to help you and meditations and things like that that spirit gives you to your blueprint, that's a coaching session, but readings are just to see what the energies are at. So I don't do readings all the time. That does end January uh, 31st. So you can take a look down below. And all of that info is down below. If you wanna work further with me, hit this like on this guys, please comment, I love it. And yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love. And I'm sorry again if the, boy, if the recording is like, ah. I don't know what happened, but I will try to do better next time. <laughs>